Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, let's do a quick full body workout, good for all levels. I'm here on three red springs, that's three heavy springs. The bar is up on the highway. And um, let's go ahead and lie down on our back. So heels are gonna go on the bar, about fist distance apart between those heels. Toes pointing up to the ceiling, knees pointing up to the ceiling, arms by your sides. Go ahead and tuck your tailbone once, pressing that lower back into the carriage, and then untuck your tail to find your neutral spine position. Hip bones are level, ribs are down. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, push away from the bar. Inhale, bend the knees back in. So keep moving, you guys. I'll pile on the cues. Squeeze the glutes as you push out and resist the machine as you come in. Resist the springs. Good, we're moving from our muscles, not our joints. Pushing the heels into that bar to come, to press out and then squeezing those glutes to come in. Good, heels pushing into the bar, glutes squeezing on the way in. Nice, you guys. Starting to engage that core as you press out, feel the pelvic floor lifting, feel the navel drawing into the spine. And two more. Good, you guys, last one. And bring it back in, slide down onto your toes, all 10 toes on the bar. Press the carriage out, and then really push into the bar to come in. Pressing out, stretch those legs, push into the bar to come in. Nice, you guys, keep going. Make sure your pelvis hasn't shifted as you push out and in. Make sure that it stays as stable as possible. Hands can go on the hips to help you monitor. And four. Good, you guys, three, two, resisting back in. Hold this next one out, you guys. Lower one heel underneath the bar. Really reach it long as the opposite leg, the knee is bent. Then lift up and switch. And lift and switch. So it's like a little prancing in place here. Make sure you lift up on both toe sets of toes, on both balls of the feet before switching. One more here. Lift the heels. Now bring the carriage all the way back in, but let's push it back out. Lower both heels underneath the bar with control and lift. Two more. And lift. One more. And lift, bend the knees, bring the carriage halfway in. Pause. Without letting the carriage move this time, lower and lift your heels. So a lot of ankle articulation. Lots of work in the quads. Trying to keep that pelvis stable. So no, trying not to tuck and untuck. Just keeping it neutral, stable. We're here for three, two, and one, lift the heels, push it out. Good job, you guys. Bring it back in. Good work, arms by your sides. Legs together on the bar, arches of the feet together. Navel drawing up and in, tuck the tail, roll up into your bridge. Pause at the top, make sure you're on your shoulder blades, not your neck. We're keeping that tuck position at the top. Think of your knees pulling over your toes and think of your feet trying to drag the bar towards your bum. Keep those sensations as you roll the spine down and untuck at the bottom. And again, tuck your tail, draw the navel to the spine, roll it up, squeeze at the top and roll the spine back down. Hold this next one up, roll it up and pause. Little pulses with those hips, up an inch and down an inch and five, four, keeping that carriage in, three, two, and one, roll the spine back down and untuck at the bottom. Good work, you guys, awesome. Feet on the, on the platform. When you're ready, nod the chin, head and shoulders curl up, place your hands behind your head. So staying here, we're gonna 
practice our neutral spine position. So let's go ahead and tuck the tail. The lower back is pressing into the mat, into the carriage, but keep drawing that navel to the spine and then untuck. And we tuck and untuck and tuck and untuck. Hold the untucked position. Make sure you're still lifted up to the bottom tips of the shoulder blades. Not too high, not too low. Bring one foot on the bar, bring the other foot on the bar. Hold it here. Bring one leg up to tabletop, bring the other leg up to tabletop. And we hold and we breathe into the side ribs, into the chest, into the back, not the belly, because we've got to keep that navel drying up and in. So the challenge is to keep the spine neutral, which is why I'm shaking. If I were to tuck the tail and let the knees pull in, the shakes go away. So we want that little shake. Knees over the hips, if you can, if that feels okay. Untucked tailbone, but heavy rib cage. And we hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the feet and lower the head. Hold on to the shoulder blocks with your hands, elbows out to the sides. Let both, both knees fall over to one side. Breathe here. And then pulling your knees over to the other side and breathe. And knees back up. Good work, you guys. Feet on the platform. Go ahead and come on up. We're gonna do one blue spring only, just one blue. And let's turn around to face the shoulder blocks. We're gonna stay cross-legged here. Round the straps off the shoulder blocks and hold on to these short straps. Okay, arms out in front, elbows unlocked. We're gonna draw the navel to the spine, open the arms out to the side, squeeze those shoulder blades together and down, grow tall. Bring the arms slowly back to the front. Two more. We pull back and hold, growing tall. Bring the arms back to the front. One more. Pull back, hold, grow tall. Shoulders are pressing down. Bring the arms back to the front. Good work. Cross your straps. Hands in the short strap, so the strap is on the back of your hands. Elbows by your sides. Roll the shoulders back. We open the forearms out to the sides or pull them back and bring them back to the front. So basically, we want to keep hugging in those upper arms towards the body, not letting them pull away. And we're thinking of pulling from the back of our shoulders. So we're working the back of the rotator cuffs here. Good. Nice, you guys. Long back of the neck, releasing the neck as much as you can. Let's do four more. And three, two, and one. Good work, you guys. Uncross the straps, hook them back up, hands on the shoulder blocks, round your back for a stretch. And stacking the spine. Okay, let's do a plank inside the well today. Take off all your springs. So take off that blue spring and let the carriage push all the way back. So we're gonna keep the carriage up against the risers here. Hands can go either flat on the carriage or if it's more comfortable, fingertips can hang out to the sides. Let's step one foot back and then the other and hold. I'm gonna have my legs together, but if you prefer them apart, that's fine. Keeping the carriage in, navel to spine, the glutes are engaged, the spine is long, the elbows are unlocked. Keeping the carriage there, shift your weight back into your legs, push your heels down, navel to spine, lift your heels, come back into your plank position and hold. Long line here, good. And again, hips pull back, heels lower, stretch. Navel to spine, lift the heels and plank. Holding the plank. And lower the heels, pull the weight back. Walk your feet forwards. Let your body forward fold. Head is heavy, arms are heavy. Unlock the knees, slowly roll your spine up, one vertebra at a time. Arms can go up for a nice inhale, and exhale, lower the arms down. And you guys are done. I hope you enjoyed the workout, and I'll see you next time. Bye. 
If you've been loving my videos, become a member to my channel. You'll have access to a whole lot more videos, both Matt and Reformer, and you'll be helping to support my channel, allowing me more time to make more videos for you guys. Click the join button to become a member today.